So you remember that example while we were talking about uh, polymorphism in our video about object oriented uh, programming concepts, right? Age of empires. So in age of empires, soldier, soldier is an abstract class and it has an abstract method called as attack, right? This class will be inherited by specific types such as spearmen, right? paladin are the warriors who have their own horse. They fight sitting on top of horse, right? Gunmen have guns. Archers use bows and arrows. Spearmen have spears, right? They all have their individual way of implementing the attack. Spearmen will use spears for attacking. Archers will use bows and arrows and gunmen will use guns. So that's why this method is implemented differently in different uh, specific type of classes. This is a common method in the soldier abstract class that is gather with some coordinates. Imagine you are a developer who is developing this game. You are in the development team. So your immediate boss has asked you to implement a functionality of refill, refill the weapons. So in the older versions of the game, as long as the soldier is alive, he can keep attacking with his uh, weapon. But you want to simulate the refill behavior that he will run out of ammunition. And after a specific interval, he, the soldier, will have to refill the weapon, right? So there's a quick demo to the upper hierarchy of bosses and you need to quickly implement this solution of refilling. So as a developer, uh, my first instinct will be, okay, I'll, I'll put a refill method here in the base abstract class of soldier, right? This refill method will be something like after a specific interval of time, let's say 10 seconds or something, the soldier will stop fighting and will spend some time in refilling the weapon and then continue fighting, right? So because you kept this concrete method in your soldier abstract class, all these specific types of soldiers will automatically get that refill behavior, right? Now, the demo happened and guess what? It wasn't that good. What happened? So your immediate boss has come back to you with a feedback that, man, what the heck you did? You should have some common sense. I said, why? Because why will spearmen or paladin need to refill their weapons? Spearmen have spear, paladins have swords. They don't need to refill their swords or spears. So because I implemented it like, you know, after a certain period of time, gunman and archer will just stay stationary for let's say a few seconds, uh, indicating that they are refilling and then again they will start fighting. So unfortunately what happened is that my spearman was also fighting and because it also got this refill behavior, after that specific time, he stopped fighting for a certain period of time and again started fighting. So it was really funny and same thing happened with Paladins, they were really fighting a lot and statue and then again start fighting. So yeah, not, not a good sight in the demo, right? So that's a problem. So I was stupid. Maybe I was hard pressed by the demo deadline. So I should not have put it here, right? So then I think, okay, I can, I can make this abstract right so i can say italic and this will be like attack it will be individually implemented by each uh, specific type of soldier those who need not need to refill will do nothing like spearman refill method will have no code like nothing right just blank and archer and gunman will have some implementation for this refill method right that is that is what i thought but then is this a good approach? Is this a good idea? I mean, if I think just right now, if I don't think much, maybe it is. But imagine, 
tomorrow new requirement comes now that company is saying that we'll add one more type of soldier which will be a uh, robot right robot will need to not only refill the weapon after some time but they also want robot to have repair method repair behavior because you don't want just robot to get killed straight away it might get damaged after certain attack certain period of attack and then you might want to repair the robot you might want to give that option to repair the robot rather than just killing that robot okay so i was thinking that refill i will make abstract and some classes will provide no implementation like blank implementation and some classes will implement it now i have another problem now to keep uh, this one more method called as repair because of this new type i will make it abstract then again who only robot is requiring this repair behavior so repair will have some concrete implementation in robot everybody else will say no behavior or let's say do nothing while implementing that repair abstract method doesn't sound good right i mean these guys don't need any repair functionality so not a good approach so i thought inheritance was a good idea in this case you know they are all soldiers basically for code reuse but this is more like a code replication so inheritance is not really working much here right okay not inheritance then what maybe we could use interface yeah i mean interfaces are like mm, not that binding they are much more loosely coupled right so what i will do is i'll write to interfaces refillable right and one repairable i know the symbol of interface is a bit a bit different like you write interface and then below that you write but imagine so we have learned class diagram right you know the exact notation i am just a bit uh, i don't have enough space so i'll use that okay so you know the correct notation cool so they will have refillable interface will have some refill method right and repairable interface will have some repair method some repair method right now instead of i'll take out this behavior from here and the classes which want the refillable behavior archer right so archer needs refillable so archer will implement this interface gunman gunman requires refill robot robot also requires to refill his weapons and robot also requires to be repaired in case it gets damaged while fighting right now we don't need to provide any implementation for refill in spearman and gunman sorry spearman and paladin because they are not implementing this interface sounds like a better design better way of solving that problem right but it doesn't end there why software changes i told you in in that video in solid principles software changes it keeps on changing that's the only constant thing about software requirements are going to change so now they are saying that you know what this refill behavior we want to customize it so archers will refill based on their number of arrows that they are carrying right and gunman they don't have a gunman doesn't have you can't show the bullets inside the it's very tiny right on the screen so they will refill based on some time like after a certain period of time of attacking they will have to refill so for archer it will be based on number of arrows for gunman it will be based on time so we want two different behaviors for this uh, refill so you have to change it earlier it was similar right when they were implementing this refill it was just time based now there is a changing requirement so you have to make the code changes here but these are just two examples imagine there will be many more this this kind of soldier which require the refill functionality they will keep on adding new types of soldier so because there is a changing requirement every time you will have to go in those respective specific type 
and change the behavior. Again, they will say, now we want superhero kind of soldiers. So let's say they add another uh, type, Iron Man, right? So there's an Iron Man soldier. You have an Iron Man. Iron Man will require to, he will implement repairable, right? Because Iron Man's suit can get damaged. Iron Man probably will require refill. Let's say Iron Man has unlimited supply of weapons, so he doesn't need to refill. But then again, they are both implementing this repair, right? Robot and Iron Man. Because they are similar, right? Iron Man also is a robot, basically. Human inside a robot. And robot is a robot. So they both have this repair functionality. But now, change after some time. And the team has decided that Iron Man's repair behavior will be different than robot's repair behavior. A robot will need a mechanic, a human, to repair itself because there is no human inside robot. But Iron Man, Mr. Uh, Tony Stark, will, replay, will ref, repair his own Iron Man suit or whatever that robot is. So you have to change. So here I'll have to write some another logic. Here I'll have to write some another logic. Again. Yeah, change. A lot of changes. And we are only taking five examples of types of soldiers. But, and you are, because some behavior is changing, you're changing your types. You are disturbing the code of, robot will have some other functionality, like gather, like attack, like or iron man will have some other functionality so this this behaviors of refill and repair will keep on changing is it a good idea every time to go to specific classes and keep changing the code i don't think so this is not a good design it doesn't seem like a good design so what now how do we solve this dilemma of managing this change that is happening in these two behaviors of refill and repair so the general rule of thumb, as I told you in the solid principle discussion, whatever is changing, take that out, separate it out from whatever which is not changing. So all these classes, what is changing? Repair and refill behavior, right? So take it out. Don't keep it inside these classes. Take it out. So what we'll do is that these are our interfaces, right? So we will provide a concrete implementation, but we will encapsulate the behavior. So we'll have a class, right, called as, so we know we have two kinds of refill behavior, weapon based refill. And we have another kind of refill that is time based refill, time based refill. So here it will have certain weapon based refill like number of arrows and time based refill will be based on a specific amount of time timestamp right in repair we have two types of behavior one is self repair that is, Mr. Iron Man, Mr. Tony Stark will repair his own robot because he's inside that robot while attacking. So that is one implementation of repair. And another is human repair. So this will require a citizen or a mechanic to be, to go back to that, a mechanic will go to that particular uh, robot and will repair it from outside. So this is, you can say external repair. And we can say internal repair, self repair instead of that, say internal repair, right? So what we have done is that we have encapsulated the behaviors because they were the one who were changing. So now if you in, draw this, so there is a family of algorithms. This is algorithm family for refill behavior. This is algorithm family for repair behavior and now one thing that we need to do here is that here in the soldier base class we will have a type of refillable composition 
रिफ्यूलेबल आर लेट से अ कंपोजिशन एंड वन इंस्टेंस ऑफ रिपेयरेबल नाउ वाइल्ड द चाइल्ड क्लासेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर क्रिएटेड ऑब्वियसली दिस चाइल्ड क्लासेस आर इनहेरिटिंग फ्रॉम दिस राइट वाइल यू क्रिएट अ चाइल्ड क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ इंस्टेंस ऑफ रिफ्यूलेबल राइट सो नाउ दिस चाइल्ड क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट्स कैन चूज from this particular behaviors right well, we will also add one we have one no refill behavior right so which will which will provide the blank implementation of refill and we'll have some no repair behavior right which will have some blank implementation of this a uh, repairable interface so now spearman while you create the object of spearman for this contain refillable it will provide the instance of no refill and no repair for robot while creating the instance of robot you have to provide for this contained refillable so robot can use for refillable he can use uh, time based refill object and for repairable it can use external repair object right tomorrow we want to change it a robot will also be internally repaired by itself then dynamically at run time we can change robot will provide for refillable as time based refill implementation and robot will provide for repairable as internal repair right see now what is happening one more design principle here is always program to the super type so you are using composition sometimes composition is preferred over uh, inheritance because composition is flexible much more flexible right this is a super type this is a interface we need a instance of interface so at run time you can choose from this family of algorithms right robot instance depends on the business decision depends on the functionality requirement robot can be created with the instance of time refill time based refill or weapon based refill a uh, gunman can use any of this for this and any of this for this while they are getting created so you can change that run time because you are programming to interface you are programming to super type right this can this can be given instance of no refill weapon based refill time based refill this can be given instance of internal repair external repair or no repair right so it is so flexible it is such a loosely coupled system what is happening here is that the behaviors the behaviors can change independently of the client that is consuming them who is the client so basically if we draw a boundary these are the clients right these are the clients so specific behaviors can vary independently of their clients right because we have encapsulated them into family of algorithms and they are interchangeable they can substitute for each other at one time gunman can use weapon based refill later it can use time based refill right so this design pattern is called as strategy design pattern so in strategy design pattern we define a family of algorithms and encapsulate them so that they are interchangeable so anyone can substitute for refillable interface so we define in strategy pattern we define a family of algorithms and encapsulate them the behaviors into classes so that they are interchangeable the benefit of strategy pattern is the independent the algorithms the behaviors can vary independently of the clients who are consuming them you can change them if you change something code in time based refill you increase the interval for refill from 10 seconds to 20 seconds you don't have to do any change in your clients you can just do that change and automatically that change will be reflected in the behavior of this soldiers 